Hi, my name is Andrea Orta Mashburn, and today I'm going to discuss how to start your own babysitting business. There are some simple steps that you can take when wanting to start your own babysitting business. The first step that you need to be taking is training, getting a little bit of experience. Training can encompass anything from getting first aid to CPR certified to just making sure that you have experience doing the job. Make sure to remember that your own brothers and sisters can be great experience for you, as well as local neighbors who live nearby. The second step you need to take is figure out your schedule. When are you available to babysit? How long are you available to babysit? Is this is something you can offer them on a weekly basis or only on certain days? Make sure you have an understanding of your own schedule before you make any commitments to babysitting. The third step you can take when wanting to pursue your own babysitting business is simply to advertise. You can advertise by flyers, by running an ad in a newspaper, by talking to family and friends, community members, church members, and then even looking online and posting positions. Make sure no matter what that you make yourself readily available and that you network yourself properly. The fourth thing you need to do when looking to pursue your own babysitting business is that you have a babysitting backpack. This backpack needs to be filled with not only first aid supplies, but as well as things you can do with the child or the children involved. This can be coloring books, um, crafts activities, anything that you may find useful when babysitting. Remember, sometimes just by introducing a new activity, you can calm them down and also collect and gather in their attention. You also need to remember that you're providing these individuals with great customer service. When you get a job, make sure to thank them. At the end of the evening or the end of the night, make sure to thank them. Sometimes writing a simple thank you note would be appropriate. Or you may even want to go and stop by on one day and just knock on their door and let them know how much you really enjoyed babysitting their child or children. Sometimes by just putting in that positive note, parents will be more than likely to call you once again. Finally, when beginning your babysitting business, don't be afraid to charge more, especially when the expectations of the parents are more involved. The longer you babysit, the more inclined you are to charge more. Make sure that the parent understands your expectations as well as you have an understanding of theirs. So make sure, guys, that you're not getting overpaid and that you're not getting underpaid. So remember, be dependable, be safe, and always be on time.